What's going on, everybody? It's Eric Ray with the back here, and we have a new promo, Mutt Heroes 2. The original Mutt Heroes earlier this year was probably my favorite promo so far this year, so I'm glad to see him come back. All of the Mutt Hero uh, top-end cards have double Kims, too, which is something new. So a lot of interesting new cards we're going to get into, which ones are must-haves, which ones are passes, and, you know, which ones you need on your team. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so now let's get into the new cards. We're just going to focus on the uh, the top cards, the 96, 97 cards. These are going to be the fully, uh, you know, the full Mutt Heroes. You have, you know, the lower tier Mutt Heroes, but those are just the cards that you're going to put into sets to get uh, these guys. So we'll just go by position because there's, there's cards for every position. So I think the easiest way would be just to go by position. So quarterback Matt Ryan. Let's take a look at Matt Ryan. So another cool thing about... Uh, all of these cards is they have double chemistries on them, and I believe these are the first cards uh, this year to, to have double chemistries like this. So for you, you guys that are really into chemistries and getting those boosts on your team, these cards are really going to be good because of that. I think that's what makes this promo more unique than a lot of the past promos is, is the double chemistry. So let's look at Matt Ryan. He is definitely a pocket passer, not much speed on him. Uh, 93 throw power is decent. I, I feel like 93 to 94 is the lowest you can go for a quarterback on throw power this year, especially at this point of the year. You don't want anything under 93. Um, so his hero trait is throw accuracy short at 98. So he'll pretty much, he should never, never mess up a short throw, a drag, a slant, you know, a short in route, a short out route, uh, pass into the flats. He should never, never overthrow any of these. So that's, that's good. If you, if you throw a lot of short passes, this might be a good card for you. Uh, and his, his, uh, mid and his deep accuracy are both very good as well at 90, 93 play action. So uh, not a bad card. Not somebody for me. I'm still just rolling with Michael Vick the rest of the year personally. But uh, that's a good pocket pass right there. So Case Keenum, a uh, little bit um, kind of both worlds here. 82 speed, so he does have some wheels on him. Uh, he, he His his trade is going to be the play action at 98, which I don't think is that big of a deal. 91 throw power is a little bit uh, too low. His accuracies are good, but I think uh, that throw power being a little too low, it, that's a pass for me, not a card I think you should get. And then we have Derek Carr, who he has the throw on the run uh, stat or trait. That's what his hero uh, attribute is. So 85 speed, he does have some speed. 92 throw power, again, a little too a little too low for me. Uh, his accuracies are good. Uh, the throw on the run's good, but he's going to be another pass for me. So out of the quarterbacks, I would say that Actually, Matt Ryan is the best because even though if, if you're okay with using a guy that's not uh, not mobile, he's, he's a good pocket passer. He has just enough throw power and his short accuracy is very good. But all in all, uh, not crazy about any of the quarterbacks. Now, running backs, we have a few uh, interesting ones. So, LaShawn McCoy, first off, his is going to be elusiveness, which isn't really a big deal because it's it's more so, more so jukes, spins, and trucks is all that matters. But he has that, too. So his hero trait really isn't that big of a deal, but 94 speed is very good, 95 excel very good, 93 carry, shouldn't fumble too much, but what really stands out about this card is agility, spin, move, juke. 97 agility, that's got to be some of the tops in mud, if not the best. Spin move, 97, that is crazy. 96 juke move, so if you are if you like elusive backs, this is probably the best elusive back in the game now. Uh, definitely a good card, definitely a card if you like elusive backs, you should put on your team. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott, probably one of the better cards in the promo, and he's got uh, times two pound the rock, which is good, which means you can even up some of his running stats. Uh, 95 speed, very good. 98 carrying, which means that's his hero trait is the 98 carrying, so he isn't going to fumble at all, or he shouldn't. Uh, 95 agility, very good. He's got the spin and the juke move threshold, so again, if you like a fast, he's a little bit better than Shady in my opinion, just because better carrying and one more speed point is actually a big deal, so I would go Zeke over uh, McCoy. He's definitely the best running back. And then we have a Chris Thompson card, and his hero trait is the juke move, which is actually very good. So 93 speed, which is pretty good. Uh, 96 excel, very good. 95 carrying, so he will not fumble much. 95 spin move, 94 agility, 98 uh, juke move. Another great card. All three of these running backs are very good. And all of them can find a spot on your team, in my opinion. These are this position; they they knocked it out of the park uh, with running backs in this promo. Uh, fullback, if you care, there's one fullback, and his hero is uh, trait is the trucking trait, which it kind of sucks that they put it on a fullback and not a running back. But I mean, if you like running fullback dives, I guess this guy could be good. 98 trucking, uh, 88 carrying. I mean. Most people aren't going to pay that much money for a fullback. Let's just be honest. So let's go to wide receiver. 
Uh, Michael Thomas, a card I'm excited for because I'm a Saints fan. I've been waiting for like a really good Michael Thomas card, especially after the year that he had. He, he's, you know, he's, his last card was a motivator card. It was okay. But this is a card I'm definitely going to get because I'm a Saints fan. But uh, probably not the be- best wide receiver of the bunch. But uh, 91 speed, and he just sold, so we got to go to the next one. Uh, 91 speed is not... I mean, it's not it's not slow and it's not that slow, but it's at this stage of the game, it's not that fast. But I got a couple burners on my team, so I'm not worried about that. And all of these just keep selling. But uh, yeah, 91 speed, 98 catch. That's his hero trait. So he shouldn't really drop many passes at all. Um, 93 route running, so he has the route running threshold. 93 release is good. 93 catch and traffic is good. He's just a he's just a very he's a solid wide receiver. There's definitely better wide receivers in the game. Uh, a card I'm gonna get, but I'm not gonna say he's a must have for anybody else. Now we'll look at Demarius Thomas. His hero trait is release, which means, uh, you know, you really can't press this guy. 93 speed, that's pretty good. 91 catching is good. 94 spec catch. That, Like I said, 98 release, he's not going to really get pressed. 91 route running, so he meets the route running threshold. That's good. 93 catch in traffic, 96 jump. Uh, pretty good card. Probably a little bit better than Michael Thomas just because of the uh, of the speed. I mean, when it comes to wide receiver, speed is kind of uh, king. And then we got Josh Norman in, or not Josh Norman, Josh Gordon, and it, speed is king. 95 speed. The only knock on this card is 90 route running. He does not have 91. I'm not sure with his chemistries if you can get him to 91 route running. So that would be an issue for me. I wouldn't want to pay that much for a wide receiver that does not have 91 route running. So that's really where uh, he loses me. He's got 98 spec catch. That's his hero trait, but spectacular catch doesn't really do that much in this game. So uh, of the wide receivers, I think uh, Demarius Thomas gives you the best of both worlds. Um, and then at that point, if you just want a burner, then sure, Josh Gordon's fine. If you want another guy that's kind of balanced and sure-handed, Michael Thomas. So all wide receivers are, are good, but, uh, you know, like I said, running back, they really knocked running back out of the park. So now let's look at some tight ends here. And we only have Delaney Walker. Uh, 87 speed for a tight end, that's pretty good. Although, I mean, at this stage of the game, they got some really crazy fast tight ends like the new, you know, Evan Ingram and stuff like that. Bo Jackson's still a good tight end because of his speed. So 87 speed is good, but there's a lot faster guys for, you know, Mutt right now. Uh, his hero trait is catching traffic, which is a, a stat I'm really big on. So he shouldn't drop too many passes. He also has 91 catching, 90 release, 88 route running. Uh, Not a bad card, but I think there's better tight ends in the game. So he's definitely not a must-have for me. Uh, definitely better tight ends for cheaper uh, in the game. Uh, left tackle, we have Anthony Constanzo, I believe that's how you say his name. Uh, his trait is the pass block, so that's really good. He, he should get block shedded, you know, less frequently than some of the other tackles in the game. Uh, 91 strength is good. 91 run blocks a little low at this point of the year. If you're not a guy that runs a lot, this will be a good card. If you're a guy that runs the ball a lot, then this card really won't do you much good. Uh, so yeah, if you're if you're a heavy passer like me, like this is a card I would get because I don't really run the ball too much. But most people that play mud run the ball a lot, so that would kind of render that card useless. Um, so if you're a passer, definitely a good left tackle to get. We've got Kyle Long at left guard. Um, now, this is a run block guy. So, if you're a runner, this is kind of a must-have card because 98 run block, and he has pound the rock. You can easily get him to 99 run block. Not hard at all. If you're a runner, you should definitely have this guy. And he also has 94 pass block, so he's still a good pass blocker as well. Strength is a little low, but if you're if you're a run blocker, you're going to want to get all the run block mud hero cards because they're going to have the highest run block in the game. So, if you're a runner, definitely a card you need on your team. Now let's go to the center position where we have David Andrews and his he- Mud Hero, again, run block. So if you're a run blocker, this is a card you want to get. Now his pass block's a little low, uh, but again, uh, at center, it's run block is really way more important at center than at any other position, in my opinion. So if you're a guy that likes to run the ball, this guy needs to be on your team as well because he's going to be the highest run blocker you can get. Going to right guard, we have... I don't know how to say his name, so I'm not going to try. Also, a run blocker. So, again, if you're a run guy, this guy, these are the three guys you need on your team if you're a run blocker. You're going to have to invest some money, but you need these guys on your team. They all have 98 run block. You're going to you're gonna be a lot harder to stop. Now, this guy has 94 strength and 92 pass block, too, so he's not a bad pass blocker as well. Definitely, again, those three guys you need on your team if you're a run blocker. And now going to right tackle, we have Rick Wagner. Since he's a tackle, he's going to be a pass blocker with his um, trait. He's a 97 impact blocking, though, which is very important in the run game. So even though his run block is 91, which isn't very great, uh, because his impact block is 97, he still isn't, uh, if you're a runner, he still isn't necessarily useless because that impact block is going to come in handy uh, on certain run plays as well. So 
If you like to run and pass, this can be a good card for you, but definitely better for passing than for running uh, overall. So now we are going to jump into the defensive side of the ball. We got some good stuff on defense here. So left in, Carlos Dunlap. Finesse move is his hero trait. 85 speed, that's really good. Uh, 85 strength is okay. 96 tackle, very good. 92 block shed is decent. Uh, could be a little bit better, but not too bad. But the 98 finesse move and 96 play rec, very good. So that play rec is going to help him actually be a lot better in stopping the run recognizing the run but finesse move to me is better than power move this year they're both good but finesse move just seems to get loose and block shed a little bit better so 98 finesse move guys are these are the highest finesse move guys in the game now you might want to get them on your team if you're the guy that kind of likes to rush three or four and just sit in coverage and just wait for the block sheds having a guy with 98 finesse you're going to get a lot of instant wins at that line of scrimmage so dunlap is definitely a guy to look out for same with melvin ingram he's going to be a finesse guy 98 finesse a little bit slower at 84 speed, a little bit stronger. Um, if you had to pick between the two, you definitely go with Dunlap. He's a little bit faster, and he's a, uh, a little bit better in that play recognition. So I would, I mean, they're pretty close, but you, if you're going to pick one, definitely go with Dunlap. So now let's go to right in. Calais Campbell is going to be a block shed guy. So uh, definitely a guy you want to try to get on your defensive line. A little bit slow, but in terms of stopping the run, uh, with 90 strength and 98 block shedding <laughs> and 95 play rec, I can't imagine that it's going to be very easy running to his side. Let's say you, ha you have him on the right side of the field and you try to run a stretch to that side of the field, probably this guy's going to block shed immediately and it's going to be very hard to, to get past him. So probably going to be the best run stopping defensive end in the game with that 98 block shed. But what's crazy is he also has 96 finesse move. We just talked about how good finesse move is. So even, even though he's a little slow... In the pass game, he's still going to get off the block good in the pass game as well. So this right here has got to be one of the best, if not the best, DN stat-wise in the game at this point. 95 tackle, 96 finesse, 98 block shedding. I mean, that that's a good card right there. That's one of the better cards in my opinion. Now we're going to go to defensive tackle. We got a few guys here. So we got DeForest Buckner. Um, His is pursuit, which is, I mean, pursuit is important. But, you know, when you're talking about defensive line you you really like to see the hero traits that have you know either you know pass rush moves or block shed oh not a bad card though for a d tackle 96 speed very fast 85 strength is a little low that's kind of his only knock but 96 tackle very good 93 block shed that's pretty decent uh 91 power move and 96 finesse so he has both of the uh, thresholds at the pass rush spots 92 play record is good 98 pursuit a good defensive tackle i wouldn't say he's a must have but that he's a very good defensive tackle uh that you know anybody would do better probably adding him to his team but now you look at Gerald McCoy his trade is block shed and that just kind of overpowers it. if you can put a 98 block shedder at DT you have to do that every time like if you put him on your defensive line and Calais Campbell I mean that side of the field is like you're not running anywhere near those guys they're block shedding instantly uh play rec is a little low but still 92 is good 92 tackle a little low but for you know this type of a car but still good 98 block shedding you have to put that you have to put that on your team i mean you if you're having trouble stopping the run go get you these 98 block shed guys it'll make it a lot easier so linebackers we have whitney merciless here and his is going to be a uh, power move uh so if you he's going to be better as a pass rusher than a guy that's actually in coverage obviously so he's a guy you're going to want to rush. 86 speed very good 96 tackle 96 play rec 94 block shed 98 power move 96 hit power uh, one of the better pass rushers in the game, definitely a good card, I'm not going to say he's a must have, but he's, that's a good pass rushing card right there for sure, middle linebacker, we got, uh, Demario Davis, and we just signed him to the Saints, so I actually might be looking to get him too, just because he's new to my team, so he's got play rec, which is good, which means he's going to be better in the run stop, uh, game, but 90 speed, very good, very good speed for a linebacker, <clears throat> excuse me, 98 awareness too, which is really high, not that I don't, I'm not sure if awareness does that much this year, but still very good. 96 tackle, that's solid. He's not going to get too many tackles broken on him. 98 play rec, he's going to react to the run good. 95 pursuit means his pursuit on the run or even in the, you know, even, you know, chasing down the quarterback. If you blitz him, is going to be good. 86 zone coverage, that's really his only knock. I wish I could get him to 91 zone, but I don't believe that's going to be possible. No, it's not, but, uh... I mean, this is a good card. 93 hit power, definitely a good middle linebacker. The the But I think when you look at Keekly though, Keekly is going to be a little bit better. Play recognition is also his. Um, 
hero trait, but the thing with him is he has 89 zone, which means you can easily get him to 91 zone, and that makes him better. Uh, a little bit slower, but his play rec, his tackle, his pursuit, his hit power is all there, but you can get him to 91 zone, so I would say Keekly is pretty much, uh, I'm not going to say he's a must-have, because there are some good linebackers in the game, but if, if we're going off of the Mutt heroes alone, he, he's better than Demario Davis for sure. He would be the one I would, you know, try to get. Uh, right outside linebacker, Nigel Bradham, Bradham uh, his, his uh, ability is tackling, 98 tackle, which means you're not going to break many tackles on him, 88 speed, uh, 93 hit power, very good, 95 play rec, 94 block shedding, and I believe he has 92 zone. I think I saw somebody post that earlier, but let me just double check really quick and where is it yep 92 zone so that's probably a must-have card right there that is a solid tackler and uh 92 zone you can't go wrong clay matthews power move uh 86 speed 96 tackle very good 97 play rec very good um 98 power move so better i guess a little bit better of a pass rusher but he's kind of just like he doesn't do it he, he's kind of just in the middle here because He's not super, super fast. He's not, he's not going to be a great zone coverage guy. He's got 98 power moves, but then only 88 block shedding. There's way better pass rushers in the game. I mean, he had the, the play rec and the hit power is great, but uh, that's a pass just because he doesn't he, he doesn't do one thing well enough because his block shedding is too low to want to use him as a pass rusher, and his zone's too low to want to use him in coverage. So you're going to have to pass on Clay Matthews. Now let's get into the cornerbacks. That's always one of my favorite positions. Shaquille Griffin. Zone coverage, so 98 zone coverage, very good. 92 speed, 93 man, 95 press, 96 play rec. He just sold, so let's go to the next one. Uh, pretty good card, but there's a lot of good cornerbacks in the game, so I wouldn't say any of these cornerbacks are going to be must-haves, but very good card. I mean, 86 catching, he's not going to drop a lot of picks. You can use him in man, you can use him in zone. 92 speed is, is good, but probably a little slow compared to some of the other higher-end cornerbacks right now. But, I mean, you can play him in man. You can press him. Good play rec, so he's going to react to the run good. Very good card. Not not a must-have, but a very good card. Janoris Jenkins, man coverage is his hero trait. 93 speed, a little bit faster. He's still got the zone coverage threshold. So, again, uh, he's a guy that you can, you know, in 84 catch, won't drop a lot of picks. So, he's a guy you can play man, zone, press. Another good cornerback, but I won't say a must-have. 5'10", I, I'm, I'm not a fan of small cornerbacks. I like I kind of like 5'11", 6 foot plus. Uh, now we have uh, Nickel Roby Coleman. I don't even. I've never even heard of this guy. Uh, press is his ability. So 98 press, very good. 91 speed, 5'8". That's just gonna be a no off the bat. Uh, he's got great man, great zone, great catching, great play rec, great press. But a 5'8 cornerback with 91 uh, speed, nope. So all the cornerbacks, I would probably say Griffin is. I would go Griffin if, if I if I had to pick one, honestly. But yeah, that's about it. So let's get to these last few positions here. Free safety, Antoine Bethea. Uh, 90 speed, 5'11", that's not too bad, uh, man coverage is his trait, but it's like, at free safety, you don't really man up your free safeties that often, I mean, th I mean this, this card is, okay. it's just okay, it's, there's, there's way better cards in the game than him, that's, that, that's a pass, I mean, he's got good, he's got decent stats, but for the price, I mean, you can get way better safeties for that price, uh, strong safety, we got Eric Weddle, zone coverage is his hero trait, uh, too slow at this stage of the game, 89 speed, so he, he's a no, um, he, he's just a no, he's too slow at this, at this stage of the game, uh, Rashad Jones, uh, one of the best strong safeties in the league, hit power is his trait, so 98 hit power, 90 speed is very, eh. for strong safety, I, 90 speed, even though it's, that's not much faster than Weddle, for strong safety, the speed doesn't have to be as fast, so he's passable, uh, he has 92 zone coverage, uh, but again, this, I mean, I think there's just better, like, he's 400k right now, like, let, just to come, just for the sake, I mean, Ronnie Lott right now, he's probably under 200k, and, I mean, not much worse, I mean, when you really look at it, I mean, he's faster, uh, you know, a little bit worse of a tackler, not by much, zone coverage, they both have the threshold, so that's all that matters, uh, yeah, I mean, hit, hit power is the only, like, clear advantage, but I mean, when you're talking the price, I, I think Rashad Jones is a little, uh, he's just, no. I'd pass on him, personally, and I don't think, yeah, we don't have any kickers or anything, so that's it, guys, that's what I think about the Hero promo, I really like the Hero promo, one of my favorite promos of the year when they did it the first time, and I think we got some really good cards the second time, I, and uh, some of these cards come with power-ups, because, so you can actually power them up and get, uh, you know, even crazier cards out of it if you want to invest a little bit more money, so uh, definitely check it out, uh, definitely do your solos, try to get you a free player, and, uh, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys.
next time.